Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we continue with the tarot content and Uspensky's The Symbolism of the Tarot where he gives his interpretation of each of the major arcana in turn. Today we arrive at the Justice Tarot card and if you're interested in the tarot you may be interested in a previous video I did where I shared all of my different books on the tarot and there's also a playlist with all of my tarot content and where you can find all of the previous arcana that I've spoken about and I intend to move on and complete the set we're at now. Um, Justice is card 11 out of 22 so we're at the halfway mark and I intend to complete the series of Uspensky's interpretation of the tarot and upon completion I'll be moving on to something else, some similar sort of commentary and sharing and you guys can be involved in that by letting me know what you're interested in hearing me speak about either in the comments or you can head over to the book club community over at Patreon where we can really get to know each other and discuss these books on a much more deeper and personal level. But as always in these major arcana tarot cards I will begin with some key words and attributes and they are in relation to justice truth, real knowledge, inner truth, occultism, esotericism and theosophy. And you'll find if you've been following along with all of these um, major arcana tarot cards that occultism, esotericism and theosophy is in many of the attributes and keywords of many of the cards. So that's something to think about. And what follows is Ospensky's interpretation of the Justice Tarot card. When I possessed the keys, read the book and understood the symbols, I was permitted to lift the curtain of the temple and enter its inner sanctum. And there I beheld a woman with a crown of gold and a purple mantle. She held a sword in one hand and scales in the other. I trembled with awe at her appearance, which was deep and mysterious and drew me like an abyss. You see truth, said the voice, on these scales everything is weighed. This sword is always raised to guard justice, and nothing can ever escape. But why do you avert your eyes from the scales and the sword? They will remove the last illusions. How could you live on earth without these illusions? You wish to see truth, and now you behold it. But remember what happens to the mortal who beholds a goddess. So that was a relatively short interpretation there from Ospensky of the Tarot um, of the Justice card. But like all of these cards, by pondering them yourself, listening to Ospensky's interpretation, and then just having a look and, and pondering the, the card for yourself, what comes through for you? What does it represent for you? And the next card will be the Hanged Man which will be coming very soon. I hope you're enjoying the tarot content. Like I say, be sure to go and check out the playlist if you haven't done so already. Much more cards coming. We're halfway through. We've got 11 more to go. And yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. But for now, have a good week. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon.